What is up everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, yesterday as you see we've um, we've unboxed the God Save the Rave limited edition box by Scooter and um, today we're going to be doing another one but on the same product, God Save the Rave, the strictly limited edition LP which is also a clear vinyl because um, yeah, I pre-ordered this from a Bravado website, of which I also got this lovely shirt with. But I didn't want to unbox the shirt because I know that I've decided to wear this during the video. So I'm recording this on Friday the 23rd of April, and this is Sunday the 25th of April. Um, yesterday was Saturday the 24th of April, so I actually um, unboxed that, uh, unboxed the... Um, CD beauty as of yesterday, but today we're going to be doing another beauty on God Save the Rave, which is the um, LP. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, guys, here we are with the God Save the Rave limited edition LP, which is the clear one. I decided to get the clear version because I thought it'd be better instead of just having plain black vinyl because mm, clear vinyl is more adequately modern than like black because black LPs were so 1980s. Or it's so 1990s, I don't care, boy. But black LPs still exist. But before I get the um, clear LPs, um, because I prefer them, let me know in the comments below what um, kind of LPs do you actually prefer? The um, clear LPs or the black LPs? Um, as well as we're speaking right now, I'm trying to find the um, seal. Ah, there we go. Got it in one. I had to use my teeth yesterday on the. Um, on one of, on one of the. Um, seals on the box, so um, I had to like um, try and open it, but it was with the CD product. Sometimes these things are so difficult to open, aren't they? But not this time, because we actually got it fair and square. Here we are, the LP. Again, with the beautiful artwork. And um, what we're going to see now is this. The lovely artwork as we've seen in the CD. God save the rave, as it says here. But before we get into detail on the LPs, I just want to explain the track list because it's completely different unlike the CD version and one track is replaced. So we have all our familiar tracks with one to five on side A, side B, five to eight, oh no, six to eight, side C, no, six to nine, sorry. Side C, 10 to 12. Side D, 13 to 15. Now, I must confer that, uh, conf I must confirm that uh, the LP version, instead of Wandering Star, it's got a bonus track here called Lugosi. I'm guessing it's only LP exclusive, so unfortunately you won't be able to get them on digital download nor CD. You can look it up on YouTube though, because I believe I had a couple, I know a couple YouTubers actually um, posted it on the LP rip. And here we are. Prepare to be amazed by the um, glamorous design on the LP um, record itself. Excuse me. Um, it's a bit jiffy. Please be patient, guys. I've got... Um... And here it is. We've got the clear LP. Beautiful, isn't it? And we've got the glorious design of um, the megaphone and the microphone. Might want to go ahead and show off the um, second record. But not before I put this away. Oh, so much problems with these LPs these days. There we are. That's the um, LP1 inside the bag. Now let's go check out the second LP. A little bird told me that there's also a booklet inside of it, so I think I'll pick that up as soon as I've shown up the second um, record, which is side C and side D. Again, as you can see, Finger, dirty finger marks on there. Side C, the megaphone, microphone again, and uh, the megaphone. Beautiful designs so of those clear LPs, which I really love. 
honestly, I wish I could create LPs, but it's not easy. They had to be done in professional um, manufacturing machines. Right, so. I believe we'll find our books right here. Same from the LP, we got, uh, from the CD, we got the um, God Saber Rave Arena Tour and the merchandise. And we got the booklet, but there's a difference in the booklet. It'll all be the same again, so I'm probably not going to show all that off. Because you may have seen all those yesterday. There's the only difference with this one. Ignore the picture again, but um, that's exactly how it was drawn. The artwork is by Tobias Tritton and Martin Whelan. How amazing is that? And there we are. Lugosi is the only difference in this LP, and it's also not including the I Want To Do Stream concert, which is actually very, very different. So anyway, let's just um, stick this back in the um, stick this back in the sleeve, and that completes. <laughs> Excuse me. Sometimes these things can be a bit. I don't want to wreck it. Oh well, this will do. Anyway, this completes the God Save the Rave limited edition LP. And I really hope you enjoyed that, um, the um, unboxing for those God Save the Rave albums here, which I've done this weekend. If you um, want to check out the album, you can always buy a product, or um, I've, I've links are in the description below if you want to order them on Amazon, that's amazing, it's cool. But uh, alternatively, if you want to, you can take a look at it on Spotify and Apple Music and stuff like that if you, want, if you prefer to listen to them without purchasing a product, because it takes a heck of a long time to get from uh, Germany to the United Kingdom. So yeah, that's God Save a Ray for you, and I really hope you enjoyed the unboxings this um, this video. Don't forget, and, and that's it for now from me. Don't forget to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe for some more upcoming amazing content for this channel. So yeah, let me know in comments below if you've um, if you if you know Scooter quite well. What are your favourite songs from the um, from the? Uh, from the band for over over the past twenty, the past nearly thirty years. So, yeah, that's all I can say right now. Anyway, that's it for now. Until next time, stay cool, and I'll see you in the next video.